Hi, my name is Vivian Gwynn. And I'm Arthur And this is the... Wait, did you say Midnight Show? Final episode yeah, of the Midnight Show. Oh. <gasps> First news. Okay, posted today on the usfirst.org. Uh, you guys need to review the safety rules. And they pretty much are no running, no closed, or no open toed shoes, charge your batteries in a well ventilated area, two way radio, and other wireless communications are not allowed. That means no cell phones. None at all. None of that. And at the end of the day of February 17th, you have to have shipped your robot. It has to be out of the team's possession and on your way to whatever you're going through. So it means basically post smart. Don't, not after February 17th, got it? Yeah. And your team number, school name, or and school name, must be on the FedEx bill or airway bill. And now other first things. So once you've brought your robot onto that little playing field, it is committed to the match. That means you cannot take it out. If it breaks down, sorry buddy, but it's stuck on there. And for propellers, the exhaust, has to, has to be protected with one fourth mesh, and that's for the propellers. And also, it has to be positioned a third back from the front edge of the tower. And if any of you know what that means, then it applies to you. And probably only you. Team! Team! Team San Diego News! <laughs> So this weekend, from February 14th to 16th, we are going to be attending the Expo. And what is the Expo, Arthur? The Expo is a pre-ship thing where all of the team, the first teams in, in San Diego County come to practice using their robot, making additions to their robot, and then on the last day, ship the robots to the actual competition. So these three days are very crucial, and all the first teams in San Diego will be attending to this event. And it's from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. and everyone is invited, and it's taking place at Madison High School. Okay. It is from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. That's 12 hours of your day. Of our day, not your day. You guys can be there for like two hours or five minutes. As long as you come. Can you see it? Is it 812 News? Is it visible? Can you guys see it, huh? Can, can, can you see? <laughs> 812 News! We are the champions! Okay. Okay, Team 812 News. Okay, so Team 812 News. For Team A12, this week we have finally elected our candidate for the Woody Flowers Award. Woo! And who is it? It is Mr. Tom LaFleur, an ex Qualcomm worker who is retired but decides to work with us in this year. So he is very important to our team. He's brought all of the mentors for electrical, for mechanical, and for programming, and he's helped us a lot this season. This is why we chose him to be our nominee. He comes consistently to all of our robotics meetings and is at most of our events, if not all of them. And our welding parties, which was very, very important as well. Yeah, um, next news, we also have decided to buy our team shirts. And they are going to look great, like last season and all the other seasons. Of course, yeah, it's a given. Yes, and after many delays and changes, we finally decided on a team design, and we will, and they will arrive very, very soon. North America, elbow, elbow, elbow. Then we gotta go farewell. 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 It looks like you're like slapping someone's face. Okay. Okay. Say bye. 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 Go away. Get off the screen. Close the window. Get get out of here. Get, leave. Leave. Please excuse him. No.